Okay, so in this recording, uh, what I'm looking at is amend acceptance running, which you can see on the screen in front of you. So I've just used the free tool. You can see there's my company name, and I'm just using the free one that needs to start up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look at running Playwright, which is obviously like Selenium, it's a testing framework. And what I'm going to do is looking at running it consistently. So, you know, I'm going to run it every hour or two and just make sure my site keeps running. But most importantly, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to continuously run Playwright to evaluate my website for the WCAG uh, accessibility guidelines. So see if there's any, you know, if I'm getting double A, triple A, whatever the story is, any of my concerns. So as I'm building it, I can just keep running this and it'll keep telling me, oh, hang on, you picked this up, you know, you put down an image, you haven't stuck an old text on it, or, you know, I could have color contrast problems, things like that. So it's pretty nice. So let's get into Playwright first, and then we'll move on to doing the accessibility testing. Okay, so by a quick way of introduction, this is my Visual Studio code. And what I like to do is uh, install a whole lot of extensions and work out of that for most of the work that I do. I think the key ones here are Playwright that you've got to install. Um, you can see I've got Azure, I've got Postman, and I've got PowerShell. So quite useful to have those, and um, I've got um, source control hooked up here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just, I've dropped out of the directory that I was in. I'm going to go and make a new directory where I'm going to go and uh, put everything. Okay, so you can see that I've created this new directory and I'm ready to go. So now all I'm going to go and do is I'm just going to go and tell it to go and install the, the Playwright piece. Okay, so now what that's, I've already obviously installed Playwright on this machine uh, and a node, uh, you need to have a recent version, or um, I think I'm on version 20, uh, it needs to be at least 14. Uh, you can see here it's gone and created the area that I want. So what I can do now is I can go and open that. So I'm going to use the shortcut, in my case it's Control K, Control O. And you can see I've got this new directory, so I'm just going to go and open up that folder. And you can see it's gone and created all my scaffolding that I need, um, and it includes some examples here. So that's all good and well. So the first thing I'm going to go do is I'm going to go and record a new test. To do that, I click on the testing tab, and you can see it's found the example test. Uh, now I'm going to want to go and record a new one. Let's go and record that. And what you'll see is it'll open up the recorder, which is actually very good. And my default on Playwright is to open it in TypeScript, which is much easier for me than JavaScript. So I'd, I'd advise you go the same way. And as you can see, it's going and opening up a window uh, that is going to act as the recorder. And it's got a really nice advanced functionality where you can go and put um, expects, which is the same as asserts in, in, in most unit testing frameworks. So I've got the website that I want to go to, and I've pasted in and it's gonna go and do the recording. And then obviously there's quite a lot of nice functionality. Yeah, you see I can pick the location. I can assert a visibility. So I'm gonna actually assert a visibility and I'm just gonna check that it says that statement there. So I think that's good enough for now. I stop recording, I can close the window and you can actually see uh, here is the test that was just recorded. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is I don't like the name of the test. So I'm gonna say check home page and you can see it's got uh, the URL that it wants to do and uh, you can see it's got the first assert so we actually good to go so if I go and uh, save that file so I hit control s to save it and now I can go and play it or debug it so if I wanted to actually go and, and watch it and, and that I can do that so what's important is this box down the bottom here is uh, so for instance I can say show in browser which will pop it up or I can do it headless so if I if I untick this it'll just run through in the background it's nice and quick I'm going to run it in the browser and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just run it from here and let's see what it does So you can see it's gone and run the test that I asked it to. Very simple so far, it's running in it. And you can see it passed the test. So happy days. And by the same token, if I say, uh, you know, the heading has got to say that, now obviously it's not gonna find it. Let me just save that, run it in again, and it will fail. Here we go. So you can see, and it tells you exactly what's what's going on. I mean, it's a little bit tricky, but uh, you know, you can put this into nicer things when you come out of your and use your um, continuous integration tools, your automation tools. You know, I'm going to stick it back the way it was, and that's my first test. 
uh, and I'll change this test name. Let's rename that. You've got to keep the, the, the format, so just change the first part. So let's go um, something along the lines like that. Uh, we're just checking it for now. So there we go. And if we come back here, you can see it and you can run the tests. There's quite a lot of things you can do here. The trace is really nice. So I run the npm install. It's uh, axa core, I guess, slash playwright. You can see the module's been added. So as I can see, my homepage is opening. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is just uh, uh, add a second test to the file. So you can see I'm making this um, Mendex Accessibility WCAG test. Uh, this is actually referring to a site. So let me clean this up quickly. So I'm just taking out the variable, which is a good idea. Okay, so this is the final code. Uh, so it's this block of code here, which is the one that's going to run out and go and check it, and it's going to go and look for these um, accessibility scans against our website. You can see we've got a variable now with the name site, and that's the one we're going to go and look at. And you can also see yeah, that I've got the, uh, the import statement to get the X core in. I'm just going to actually run the accessibility test. Expecting to find anything, and we've got uh, quite a few issues here. Uh, you know, the first one here is uh, there's no language attribute, so you'd have to go into the Atlas underlying file and change that so that it has a, a lang equals en or whatever it is that you need to have. 